Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, hello, we are back with another Blood Bowl 2020 leak team. Today we're looking at the Elven Union, you know, for a system that's really hammering passing teams. Uh, let's look at the uh, somewhat the premier passing team in Blood Bowl. Jim, walk us through the changes. Yeah, and there's not a lot of changes actually. Uh... They've gone the usual route of linemen losing, linemen losing uh, passing skills on secondaries. Catchers have lost passing skills on secondaries. Um, but, you know, the stat line is unchanged apart from passing ability. Um, throwers cost 5k more. Blitzers cost 5k more. Uh, still keep blocking sidestep. Still 50k rerolls. They've, they're the, part of the Elven Kingdoms League. And what that does, it has some... Um, the, the special rules for the teams, I haven't mentioned this yet, but we will do now. That determines what stars, star players play for you. So Dark Elves will have exactly the same star players as uh, pro, pro Elves and Wood Elves and High Elves. Um, so that's kind of interesting there. And then you've got this horrible new passing ability stat. <laughs> so Throw is still passing a 2+. plus. Lyman are down to 4+, plus like most Elves. Uh, catches are on a four plus, and blitzers are on a three plus. So pro elf blitzers, quite good at passing as well, randomly. Yeah, yeah. So a couple things. One, those special rules. I actually think that's a really neat and tidy way to handle uh, the access to the star players. Um, I like that. I like that change quite a bit. Even though I haven't really drilled down into the star players yet to see how everything lines up, but it seems real easy for everyone to just kind of grasp and understand without having to memorize a list of what star players are available yeah absolutely i think that's a great 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 change because who cares if it's slightly anti-fluff or whatever you know to have a dryer playing for dark elves it's still great it's still great for simplicity and uh, elegance as you say yes absolutely and blitzer's going up five thousand in cost uh but yeah, that three plus pass, that's uh, different from all the other elf teams we've seen thus far that don't, you know, that uh, outside of the throwers. Um, that's not great, but it's not the end of the world. It's a lot better than, you know, having a witch elf that can no longer throw reliably. Uh, and those blitzers do have pass access on a secondary if you really needed it. Uh, maybe opens you up to thinking about the elf union team a little differently. Do you still include, uh, include a thrower, Jim? Um, I would get one eventually, but I would not start with him. Uh, when it comes to the starting roster, essentially you've lost the thrower. Um, because the thrower used to be 70k, and the blitzers used to be 110. You keep your standard, whatever you started with before, which for me would have been two blitzers, two catchers, and then three re-rolls. Um, you would have had a thrower as well, but because the blit two blitzers cost 10k more total, that essentially loses you the chance, and then you can't make anything else work. I mean, you could try, but you couldn't even make anything else work. Like, you could drop a reroll for a catcher and a thrower before, whereas now you can't. So there's just, there's not a lot of options there, really. Um, looking like two two catchers, two blitzers, three rerolls, and seven line, fair of enough. course. Yeah, fair enough. That, that sounds about right to me, too. And, you know, thrower, thrower after the apo, basically, in, in terms of my my building up that team as money comes in for it. Uh, but yeah, anything else from you on the Elf Unions, Jim? Um, I, I would I would probably get the third catcher first. I mean, I never played throwers on Elf teams <laughs> ever anyway. So I would probably, um, I'm not streaming, am I? No, I was just recording. <laughs> Someone, someone's followed or something. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, I would, I would never take a thrower anyway. And I still wouldn't, because I don't want a throw. I don't plan on throwing. Catchers move two more squares and make a handoff. That's just better than passing on a two plus. So I personally would go for the third catcher and then later on with loads of money, I'd think about picking up a thrower and then maybe, you know, getting him leveled up so that when you redraft, you can have an early leader or something. But um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> something like that. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I would look at a thrower just if I did want to leverage my ability to pass uh, in a in a new new world of uh, much less passing in Blood Bowl. But yeah, I je as we've discussed previously, neither of us love passing games for any teams. So I think uh, I think there's a little bit more wisdom and a little bit more reliability doing it your way. Oh, thanks.
thanks very much <laughs> well that's all right a- well that is our elven union team blood bowl 2020 uh keep an eye on this page we will have all the teams covered as we get them yeah thank you very much gorilla mezzo thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>